In 2009, three spacecraft confirmed that there is water on the Moon, but until now, astronomers thought that most of that water was confined to cold traps at the poles of the Moon. Now, a new analysis of two lunar missions casts doubt on the theory and suggests that water could really spread across the surface of the Moon. The analysis, published in the journal Nature Geoscience on February 12, could help researchers understand where the water comes from the Moon and how useful water would be as a resource for Earth, whether it is collected for drinking or it becomes hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel or air for future space explorers. Although this new analysis does not give researchers an idea of how accessible water is, it does suggest that both H2O and OH, a molecule known as hydroxyl, spread across the surface of the Moon and can be found day and night. We found that it does not matter at what time of day or at what latitude we look, the signal that indicates that water always seems to be present. The presence of water does not seem to depend on the composition of the surface and the water sticks. Previous studies suggested that water and hydroxyl, a relative of H2O that is produced with an oxygen molecule and a hydrogen molecule, were found mostly at the poles in cold traps, regions that are so cold that water vapor and other volatiles will remain stable there for several billions of years. The researchers also found that the strength of the reflective signal used to detect water depended on a lunar day which is equal to 29.5 Earth days. 